Hello guys, it's been a while, but welcome to a new FM video I made, and it's an FM experiment of if Cristiano Ronaldo moves back to Manchester United. So, as you see, he used to play for Man U if you couldn't remember, and he moved for 80 mil to Real Madrid, and he just went on a roll at Real Madrid and scored more goals in games except for his first season see if he can even do that at Man U and see if he can like make them into what they normally are the great Man U that Sir Alex Ferguson created so I'm going to be back in um, uh, a flash for you but it's going to be a whole season for me so I'll be back in a second. Welcome back to the video. So I'm gonna show you Ronaldo, basically a Man U. So let's see how he did at Manchester United. Come on, there. So he's now worth 46.5 million. He was 51 million originally. He's 30 years old, so his physicals are expected to go down. So let's have a look at his information first. Oh, I forgot you have to scout. <laughs> but yeah. So his reports he has got he scored twenty one goals in the Premier League, three assists, two penalties, and five player of the matches. Also got five yellow cards. Okay. Shot on targets per game is one point two nine. And yeah. He's made no mistakes, so yeah, he's got an eight plus rating in the English FA Cup. Just to point out, he played in the in the under twenty ones for a game. And he got a nine point three, which I found pretty interesting then. So yeah. So let's see how Manchester United did compared to last season. So they were first in the Premier League with Ronaldo top goal scorer and no other stats. Ronaldo is fifth in rating. He's got the quickest time per goal. And nothing else really well he's he's in the games while he was playing there's the least goal scored against him so yeah so man you were top last season obviously david moyes led them in seventh and yeah so let's see how they did they went on an impressive form here very impressive they won the Cup to One Cup against Arsenal. And is in penalties. Ronaldo, was he. You want to play him? Ronaldo doesn't play him. And let's see if how they did in the FA Cup. They lost in the semi finals against Tottenham. Which also Ronaldo wasn't playing, I think. Yeah. And yeah. I'm guessing Ronaldo is injured. Let's have a look. Injured for three months in a match, a torn hamstring. Okay. So. Out of curiosity, who did Manchester United buy? They brought Jan Vertonghen, Koric, is he a youngster? Yeah. Jorginho, two times because he's got part ownership for Napoli and Verona. They sold Valencia and Smolin and Marnik. They spent a total of 69 million. Yes, 69, how funny. So yeah, 
So I'm going to simulate two seasons this time and see how Ronaldo does for Man U. Or he might mute, move. So I'll be back for the next video. Welcome back. So you can see I have Ronaldo here and I just simulated two years into the future. Ronaldo's age 32 and he's valued 19 million, still plays for Manchester United. So he's gone down a hell of a lot. I think he's 46.5 before. So this season, I can't show you last season on here, but this season, he scored 17 goals. And he had seven player of the matches. 44 out of 55 of the games he played, he won. So, yeah. And let's just look at his last season. He got some, what, 23 goals last season. So, he obviously declined this season. So, let's see how Manchester United did. So, Man U won it the past two years. He wasn't. He's second in average rating right now, stages. And season before, 89 points. Won it by 12 points. How much did he win? 15 this season. So, yeah, let's have a look at our transfers first. <clears throat> Cono. Cono. Condogbia. I'm going to go with that. Jed Vag, youngster, Grizuo, no, I don't know. He sold Zaha for fourteen million. It's a pretty interesting price. Yeah, all right. Let's see. Is Van Hal still managing? Yeah. So, Man U are pretty much dominating. Is Ronaldo got any? I don't. I can't see it because I haven't scoured him. Sorry about that sound. So. How did Man U do in their other cups? Well, Bayern Munich won it. No, the game hasn't been played yet. Um, I'll have a look at that in a second. When's it played? Through the June. I'll just go to that. Bayern Munich, Juventus has won it. Let's just have a look at their path. Beat Man City 6 5 on aggregate. Round before that, they beat Chelsea 7 2 on aggregate. Round before that, they won 5 1 on aggregate against Gano Tassarai. And in their group, Days with Real Madrid, Olympiacos, and Grasshoppers, and they came second. Let's have a look at last season how they did. So Bayern beat Man City. They didn't make it to the semis. They got knocked out by Bayern. Is it? Oh, Man U versus Barcelona. I thought it was Bayern. And that'd be a really good match. As you can see, Ronaldo's top goal scorer so far. Fierro plays for Man City. What's I mean? Going a bit off track there. <laughs> so, yeah, Ronaldo's turned into a well player. So, I guess I'm going to just skip to the third. Oh, let me just do this. It looks like Wenger and 
Pellegrini left City's job. So this will take a while because I never really record it at the same time. So yeah. Okay. Come on, load. It's not there's barely any games. Come on. Alright, here we go. There's the first. Be patient. Alright, come on, stop. Who will win it? Who will win it? Please game, can you tell me? Alright. Who won? Ah, oh, I already just saw it. Man U won 2 0. Um, I think Falcao scored, and I can't. I couldn't see the other one. All right. I think Van Hal retired. So I just saw it down there. What's the reason? Yeah, retired. So yeah. Ronaldo gets the Champions League with Man U. It seems. So yeah, two nil. Who else scored? Oh, and goal by to Stegen in the stoppage time. Ronaldo didn't do that good. Where did he been playing Ronaldo? Thinking about that, if I can see. Yeah. He striker they've been mainly playing him so he's still good there <laughs> good he's amazing there <laughs> but he has been playing better in left wing so i don't know why they're playing striker so yeah that's gonna be the end of this episode this is part one next episode i think i'm it's going to be a really short episode and I'm going to do it until he's retired. I might do one where he's at Sporting Lisbon. That's where he started all his football. And that, just to show you. Yeah, he played there for four years as a youngster. A man you signed him for 12.12. 12. 25 mil so that's the end of this episode i'll probably just do it until he's retired next episode so yeah see you there have a good time